Hello, Mofu. Welcome. I was just testing out uh, someone suggested in my Discord using Oath of the Guardians on Jinx to trigger the star powers to see if you make like an entire hand full of super mega death rockets. Hey, Long. Hey, TJ. And thank you, Ember Sun Sunshine. Awesome that you're continuing to support. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, I was able to hop into a match just now, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be fine today, Reinhardt. So yeah, Jinx with Oath does not make a whole bunch of uh, Super Mega Death Rockets in your hand, which is sad. Yeah, we couldn't play the game. We tried for like 40 minutes and like we could play this part. But then when we actually got tried to get into a match, uh, we couldn't get in. And that was for like 40 ish minutes, I think. And so we just called it early because we couldn't couldn't play. Yeah, well, that's what people were saying. They were like, hey, it works out crazy for Leona. What if it would work for Jinx? And I was like, I actually haven't thought of that before. So I decided to hop in because having the entire hand full of the super mega death rockets would be hilarious. Like you'd struggle to have enough man to play them all, but it'd be really fun. But yeah, I hopped into one match, leveled up or played Jinx, got Oath and it didn't go off. Hey, Sarah. Glad you could tune into the stream. Wait, it does activate LeBlanc's power? Huh. That's interesting. That's pretty good. Good to know. I'll have to bear that in mind for LeBlanc. Hey, Psycho. Uh, so we are potentially going to go up top. It could really help us, the remitter. I always have terrible luck, though. Whenever I go there, I never get the power, and then I use all my rerolls, don't get anything, and it feels really bad. Uh, but I think we're going to try this build. I was going to go with more of a normal build with potentially, like, Archangels as well as, like, Grand General's Counterplan. But then I remembered we're going up against Lissandra, and she really punishes us for playing a lot of spells. Are you going to make a Kaisa video soon? I've been struggling with Kaisa against Lissandra. I think I did Kaisa versus Lissandra already, right? Yeah, I think I tried on stream and it was not the best. Kaisa has an issue where if the enemy gets I am inevitable, you're pretty much toast. Yeah, I did one. It didn't go great. Hey, Fee, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I was thinking about using uh, Chosen, and there's some different builds I was playing with, but since Lissandra's going to punish us so much for playing spells because of her effect, I think we would... We're going to try this. Now, obviously, Him of Valor, not great for Master Yi since he has such low stats. So we're going to try to get some stuff to buff up his stats and maybe actually hold off around till we play this, get a lot of temporary buffs on him, and then do a redoubled Valor. Uh, we'll see. It's just Lissandra punishes spam, which is going to be unfortunate. Yeah, this plus Chosen and really being able to use Echoing Spirit would potentially be good. Uh, for Master Yi, I only have one Epic slot at the moment. But also, that sort of build is a lot better when you can play more spells in a single round.
when will the monthly challenge guide for this month come out? Uh, either the end of this week or the start of next week. Uh, spell shield is good. I don't know if we'd really want that over lost chapter. But yeah, spell shield is very good into Lissandra. I feel like that's probably something we're going to try to get lucky and grab on our way. Especially if we could maybe get the uh, power from the remitter where all spells cost one less. The Vestige of Helia and everyone has permanent spell shield. And then also against spell shield, yeah, Lissandra can pop it very easily. So it's... Yeah, it's it's hard. All right, let's go hop in and uh, see how we do. All right, support champion. Karma is interesting. Stone weaving, another one cost spell with hero's horn. I mean, we're probably never going to get to 10 mana. But these all do have decent synergies. Yeah, Remitter with the permanent spell shield would be pretty nice. But I've had really bad luck with the Remitter. Uh, Karma is interesting, but I kind of feel like it's maybe a bait. I'd be very surprised given we're getting an update at the end of the month. Oh, do you think next month will be ASOL on the monthly? Um, I mean, on the one hand, I would hope they would give us at least a month heads up before they switch it from Aurelian Soul. But I don't think Aurelian Soul is going to last very long. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if during the... Uh, next monthly they gave us some new champions we're like oh by the way or the next update they were like hey we're gonna change the champion hmm I just feel like karma is such a a bait thing to go with yeah, I think we're actually going to go here for Talia. Like, Talia herself. Fine, not great, but honestly, we don't really plan on playing either of these. I feel like we just would be happy with the stone weaving. Another card to make sure we draw our Yi. I'm sure once they change it from Aesol, they'll give you ways to still get Aesol. They might just let you actually use Wild Fragments on him now. So, I don't think they're just going to say, oh, you can't get him anymore. Yeah, I think we're going to go here specifically for the Stone Weaving. I think that's probably going to be better. Although, we could buff up the Dragonling. So, that could actually give us some sustain. Ah, fine. We'll, we'll go for Karma. Titanic Wake, Higher Education. We're normally not going to draw anyone that hits Titanic Wake. Yeah, I'm probably going to reroll this. Uh, shield would give us a lot of sustain. I think I'll save my rerolls for the remitter. So I think we'll just get the shield for uh, continual sustain, because that will be decent, because we are pretty spammy with spells. All right, high roll that. Nice. Interesting. That. That could be good. Oh, double attack Swole Squirrel. 
Yeah, I feel like we should do that because the first strike is going to double his power and then he's going to strike again. We want to get stats on Master Yi if possible. And while this elusive is good, we can already generate elusive. And we don't want to spend that gold. Yeah, I think we're probably going to buy buy three copies of this because that could be pretty strong. Yeah, we'll we'll grab that. I think we'll save our rerolls for the remitter now, our last two. Yeah, that's that's fine. Alright, so we are pretty much gonna want to go top. She who wanders with I am inevitable. Yeah, we'll just try to get that. I feel like we need it as Master Yi. Nabbing there buried in ice would be funny. All right, we'll reroll both of these and hold on to karma to increase our odds of getting Master Yi. Let us see if you are worthy. The Satan tells me or I need. All right, so we're not going to play this immediately. Right. <laughs> well, at least we're able to test that that does indeed work with them getting summoned. Done. Sure, I feel like that's that's worth it. All right, we could let this kill their unit. We could also save it. Uh, I feel like killing the uh, fruit is better, even though it's going to release their unit. We could save it, but I'd rather kill this card. Also, them not having an elusive means we might just be able to win. Hey, Mr. To Toast, could you try Spectral Scissors on Pike to see if the summoned unit gets double stats from Lurk? Not sure why it would get double stats, but I can potentially try that. Well, we got unlucky and draw another copy of our Karma and not more of our Master Yi. That is a little disappointing. Oh well, still good damage. Uh, sure. Let's just get a dragon lane. Huh, that's rude. Well, we could just get him back, and he would... Yeah, well, he'll refill our spell mana. Alright, 
Oh, the game always freaks out with redoubled valor. Ah, oh, him gain summon didn't trigger our effect. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, it's more important to just save on damage. Hello, B-Dub. Welcome. Alpha Strike. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't get our ephemeral off for playing two spells. But we'll buff up this ephemeral. And we should be able to end the game. Exalt me like the god I am! Yow! Ting style! Blade and body. Alpha Alright, that should just be GG. Oh, right, they changed Lost Chapter to a play effect. Right. Forgot about that. I'm so used to it being a summon effect. That's sad. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Alright, item chest. I feel like just getting more copies of this in our deck would probably be important. This is likely going to overdraw our hand. And this is kind of a better upgrade, but we want more copies of this in our deck. All right, Heart of the Fluffet. Hey, Shambles, welcome. Hey, Toast, what if you get Share the Bounty? Uh, the spell where every time you play a spell, it gets copied on your weakest unit. I would probably still pick it, even though it wouldn't be the best into Lissandra, just because she punishes you for spell duplication, which is sad. The lesson begins. One cut of many. So we're getting our flow effect off so we can get ephemeral next round. Or not ephemeral, elusive. So we could do sown seeds and then do a redoubled valor. Our frostbitten. Yeah, I think we'll save this for next round. Doran would be proud, Liu. Realigning lenses. All right, we're playing this here just so that we have our floor effect off. Yeah, it's really annoying that she punishes you for spell duplication. It's like one of the funnest effects, and they're like, nope, no fun allowed. So we're trying to buff up our Master Yi. I don't know if they have Frostbites or not. They don't have any Elusive yet, though. Alright, so it's kind of go fish. We play this, and if they have a Frostbite, then we don't win. Otherwise, we win. Sounds good, B-Dub. 
lives in the edge of my plate. Master is awesome. A true master is an eternal student. Deny, perfect. I was really hoping we were going to get this. This is amazing to have into Lissandra. So good to deny all of her buried in ice. All right, Bone Scryer. Ooh, and the node after this is an epic champion one. Perfect. All right, let's... We will get rid of this, but it is a really good card. I like holding on to our captures. All right, we did get Master Yi. Oh, yeah, they're gonna... Oh, uh, they're gonna make us formidable. <laughs> right, I always... Uh, always forget about that. Still, we need to get our floor effect off. Are you going to refight Lissandra with the champions you lost against her? Uh, eventually, yes. I don't know if I'll do that for everyone before the tier list or not. Alright, so we need to get two spells played. We want to still try to get our floor effect off, so I guess we'll use that here even though it's not necessarily the best. We want to make sure our master keeps getting that elusive. Alright, let's go ahead and play this more just because of the fact it's a spell. I guess Frostbite's not really going to help at all in this situation. But it will keep them all from being able to block. All right, so not ending the game, but doing good damage. Oh, welcome back. For a second, I misread that. Instead of your Wi-Fi is dead, your wife. I was like. Goodness, what what is going on? I gave to fight. All right, so we could recall some of their units. That one having ten health is an issue. Ah, uh, this one would do a little bit of damage to us. Yeah, I think let's recall that one. Like a storm, I bring change. Watching light. All right, so we'll be able to kill that one there. You cannot win. We'll block nature that. This one doesn't have formidable yet neither of these do you lack subtlety all right so are there other elusive yeah that's fine we're trying to reduce down the damage we're taking this won't really do anything Turn back. yeah this will reduce down with damage more all right looks fine
Oh look, Swirl Squirrel. The problem is at the moment it's not going to have Overwhelm or anything like that. I feel like we just want to buff our Master Yi. Right, again, we have the issue of if they'd have some sort of Frostbite or CC or anything. All right, GG. You just got your two star on Elder Dragon. Should I go to three? Is complete. I mean, the three star definitely helps, but I wouldn't really go for it unless you had a lot of other champions uh, to get to two star. Uh, let's go for the Nopify. Canceling more spells is good. For most champions, I don't advise going to uh, three stars unless you have like almost everyone at two stars. That's a little bit diff difficult. Excavator's Charge is very good. But again, against Lissandra, she's going to punish spamming spells or spamming anything. Elusive is very good, but we can also get Elusive. We can already generate it on Master Yi. What's a good starting deck for the game? I have a basic Overwhelm deck. If you mean something for PvP, I have no idea. <laughs> I do not play PvP at all. Sorry. Uh, I think I'll go for Master Yi and the Charge since we can generate the Elusive, and this will still give us normally a 2 2 or 3 3 every round, if not maybe more. Especially more on the fights that we're not going up against Lissandra. I will grab that. Allies have 2-2, two, two. Coastal Defenders. Yep, not here. Your spells cost two less, your units cost one more. I mean, that's... decent. Hmm. So this would mean we couldn't play our Master Yi turn one, but we would have pretty much infinite combo for our spells, which would be pretty strong. Uh, the relics for this run for Master Yi are Secret Technique, Hymn of Valor, and Lost Chapter. Trying to go for this since we're going into Lissandra. So him of Valor will give us a lot of stats very quickly, whereas we can't play that many spells. So it has a little bit more value than in most other matches. Otherwise, I'd probably go for like Chosen. Also, if you have... Oh, I forget what it's called. Enduring Spirit or the one who shuffles like nine copies of the champion into your deck and your champion spell costs one less, that's pretty amazing for Master Yi. Yes, the double gets doubled with secret. Secret. Echoing Spirit, yeah. Uh, we'll go for the Price of Progress, just because I don't have faith at all that I'll get the better one, the Vestige of Helia. Like, that permanent spell shield would be really nice, so it's sad we're not getting it, but I feel like this is going to be something we kind of need to do. Game start, draw two, Enfeebling Strike... Enfeebling Strike is good. I don't want to use my last reroll here. 
making sure we draw the right cards is pretty important. Yeah, I think I'll just get this. Enfeebling is good for control, but we're not going to be able to survive long enough, and we don't have, like, any poke damage. We're going to have to block with our units and have them die. So while it is really good, I don't think it's going to work out as well for our deck. All right, she who wanders with I am inevitable. Yeah, the draw two is better for rushing, which is what we're trying to do. Hey, Ghost. So we're using Secret Technique, Him of Valor, and Lost Chapter. The winds of change blow bitter cold. All right, so this is the only thing we can play. Yeah, technically the stats when you use Echoing Spirit and him, your stats are tripled, not doubled two times. The mind must guide the tail, not the heart. Does the wind stop to consider which direction to blow, master? Huh, that's unfortunate. But we can potentially just end right here. So we're just buffing this one up, and then we're going to triple its stats, and then we're going to end the game. And because of the effect we got where all of our spells cost two less, we can pretty much just keep going forever. Now, we're not going to be able to do this against Lissandra, because Lissandra punishes you for playing spells, well, playing anything too much. So yeah, we're probably going to be able to blast all the way up to Lissandra, and then we're going to have a hard time. <laughs> Alright, GG. <laughs> Lissandra is blue mana. I'm guessing that's a reference to... Uh, Magic the Gathering. I think that's the name of the game. Never actually played it. Which is kind of funny considering I now play another collectible card game. Uh, yeah, we can get more of Rush. Yes, him works with the Epic Relic. Uh, Power Rift, perfect, so this can offset. I mean, <laughs> the Spell Shield is good, but the Power Rift means we can play Master Yu round one, which, yeah, I feel like <laughs> That's going to be better, although obviously Spell Shield, super important, but I think the mana reduction will be more important. You know, we could go straight for Lissandra, but Master Yi should be able to handle everything. So let's actually try to go get another power just to have the best odds. Uh, Snowy Razor Claw with I Am Inevitable. Yeah, scary, but I, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we should. <laughs> should be able to deal with everything. All right, Beat Meditation, Eye the Dragon. Uh, we'll hold on to... Well, we have Ruju Style. Although we might draw Karma. Yeah, we'll go like this.
it's wings more than talons. All right, so free Master Yi. Do you think they should add Lissandra's power to the pool? No, I really would prefer that they did not do that. All right, so we could do a ridiculous amount of damage here. The issue is they have a blocker and we don't have a way to get around them. Because we can't play any other units to drag them aside. A quiet spirit. Yeah, we'll probably just level Master Yi and also just buff him up to kind of a point of ridiculousness. A calm heart. A quiet spirit. Actually, I kind of wonder. Sometimes if you don't have that much damage, they won't block. Although I guess if they won't block, we won't be able to buff him up. Well, we don't really lose anything either way. Let's just see what they do. Okay. In the small case... And mine, honed and sharp. ...that they would play a spell and not block... ...then we could, like, buff up Master Yi and just end the game. I knew the odds of that were very low. But that was kind of the only way we could maybe end round one. So we're just giving him all these extra stats. We're then going to triple the stats with uh, Redoubled Valor. Just so that it's like Master Yi is not going to be messing around. But that should be good. This should already be more than enough. Hey Enzo, welcome. Yeah, if they have like an obliterate or something, then yeah, we're gonna have a bad time. But at least we just have this massive unit that they cannot mess with. They'll probably try to kill this one. Yep, but that is fine. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're going to just blast through all of the challenges up until Lissandra, and then we're just going to, like, hit a brick wall. Uh, which is sad. Anyways, GG. All right, see you, Jump. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Yeah, very, very biggie. Uh, sure, we'll grab health potion. I'll be free. All right, Howling Abyss. Yeah, Lissandra Adventure is unfortunately very much luck. Which is sad. Because you can have like the best build going into it and then you're just game over. All right, we might actually be able to end here. Even if they play a blocker, since we have Claws of the Dragon. Water, protect our prosperity. A quiet spirit. A clear mind. A calm heart. Oh, 
All right, so we're just gonna buff things up at first speed. And should be able to end the game unless we just draw another karma here. Okay, good. We did not. That's kind of the one issue. Like, we can play our Redoubled Valor, but we really don't want to. Because by playing that's a slow spell. Oof. Let's play this, see what we get. Ah, oh, that's... That's sad. So we could play a Redoubled Valor and potentially still end the game. But since this is slow, they then have the opportunity to play a blocker. And if they do that, then we lose all this damage. So I think I'll just do the hit. We'll survive one round. It'll be fine. Spells a new legacy. But we'll go ahead and triple all these stats. Yeah, I think we should be able to be fine surviving one round. Blade and body. Yeah, just just a little bit leveled. I've dressed for the occasion. Sun and sand at his command. Alpha strike. All right, we'll just buff this up and up so it doesn't die. Don't really want to give them their unit back. Alright. Yeah, definitely gonna lose here. Let's see what they're made of. Bottoms up. Alpha strike. Blade and body. I love the fact they made Master Yi a two-cost champion. Just that one change made him so much better. Within my grasp. All right, that should be game. Even if they kill Yi, we can buff up the other two. Yep, that's fine. I mean, we still have enough damage, actually, regardless. We don't actually need to play anything. I think I'm going to go here because this is going to be like a five cost, which is pretty expensive. Getting this to be down to like a one or even a zero cost round one because we have the extra draw could be pretty good for us. Hmm. So nature's revenge would help us have a unit to drag aside so that we can make sure Master Yi has an open attack. We could go for Nab to try to get someone, try to get their uh, Buried in Ice. Yeah, this can pull a unit aside. We have one reroll left. Although, if we re-roll, what can we get, really? I think this is actually going to be more consistent and better than most things. We're going to get a shop after, so we're still going to be able to use a re-roll there. Uh, don't need the Poro Fluff. 
another power riff. That's probably unnecessary, but we're probably still going to grab it. Uh, this was going to be a zero cost, so summoning stone doesn't do anything. Sure, that's fun. Vengeance is interesting. And I guess this is a four cost. Yeah, probably unnecessary, but just in case with the extra cost cost increase. Uh, we're going to go here because this could potentially scale up pretty well. Be a good backup. Stunning twice doesn't really help. It would summon two Tails of the Dragon and more sigils. But I think this will be better. I think we will get the Vengeance, just... Kind of in case. I don't think we'll probably get anything else. Yeah, with the Herald, our opening hand is a little too crowded right now. We're actually kind of overfilling it, so adding one more doesn't really help. And we do have the shield, so we do have decent sustain. And for all of these, they're actually going to cost somewhat too much because of the price of progress. So we're not really a unit-focused deck for the main, most part. Alright, Anivia with I am inevitable. On my Yeah, we have a great build going, it's just that we need our Master Yi. Uh, this is going to be like a 5 cost, so yeah, we definitely can't play this. Uh, we will hold on to the other two, though. Alright, good, we have Master Yi. We have the attack token, wonderful. They do start with 10 mana, and they do have some frostbites that they love to play. The lesson begins. Eternal winter. So the main one they play is a 5 cost frostbite though. So yeah, they might not be able to play anything to stop us. A calm heart. Realigning lenses. A quiet spirit. This might a be a little bit heart. too much draw. Okay. A clear mind. So an issue is we don't have our main champion spell, which isn't great. We could just straight up Vengeance and Gilder and Nivea. We're probably going to need to, actually. Although, I think they can technically block with the Egg Nivea, because it doesn't have a mobile. So we actually probably need to use the Vengeance. Yeah, let's go for it. Hey look, we got lucky. We just want to get rid of their blockers a quiet so we can just have one person to drag aside with sapling and then the other two are going to hit but we are just a high rolling heart. with these vengeances ah oh, we should have used our twin disciplines wow we are got so lucky a clear mind. and they are completely a out of mana heart. So we could use our Redoubled Valor, but we already have enough damage, and they're out of mana, so we'll just attack. Each strikes 
Spells a new legacy. Yes, the vengeance is still going to go up to three mana, sadly. A true master. She pretty much trumps any cost reduction, which is sad. But yeah, Master Yi absolutely destroyed his way all the way up to Lissandra. Now that we're at Lissandra, though, this will probably be a different story. Uh, we could cut some cards that we're just probably never going to play. But I'm going to try to be lucky and get something good here. Summoning Stone doesn't do anything. But it would add two copies to our deck. I think I just want the two extra copies, to be honest. Because, like, Deep Meditation is decent, but we're already not going to be able to be that spammy. Yeah, if only we could cut Karma. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll go here for the two extra copies. This is already going to cost almost nothing. And if it gets cost increased, like, we're probably not going to be able to play it. But two more copies of that spell is good. All right, Lissandra and Secrets Hidden by Frost. At last, my time is at hand. Yeah, the upgrade we got for it literally does nothing. Because, well, yeah, unless it costs more. Uh, we're actually going to hold on to Karma so that when we play this spell, we have a less, le least likely chance of drawing her. Uh, and we'll hold on to the Nopify. But yeah, just getting more copies of that in our deck is important. Interesting. I don't know if I've seen them play that first before. They like... Huh. Alright, we should be fine. I always forget about that card. I'm always like, oh yeah, it's in my hand. But then when I'm playing cards, I always forget that it's going to get summoned. All right, we can summon more. But we got two spells off. We could summon a champion. Uh, I think we'll... Yeah, we burnt the karma, so now we're fine. Which is going to be good. I think we'll just, yeah, bank the mana and wait for next round. I feel like anything else is tools we want to save for later. I guess we could do a champion, though. So, yeah, we should be... Well, no, nah, we won't bother. I'm worried about... Destroying our Master Yi. If we redouble Valor on him, they're probably just going to immediately entomb him. Next round. That being said, though, when he gets unentombed, he's going to summon another one. Eh, sure. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to be sure I'm counting the cards to make sure I don't destroy our Master Yi's if possible. Alright, so we don't want to open attack because they're going to have things to counter that. Yeah, we figured they're going to have that. But our Master Yi should cost nothing because we have the double... Aw, oh, he costs one. Sad. Just the one I was looking for. My helmet could use some work. I could never hope to mend a master's work. Oh, 
Alright, so everything's gonna go up. He would be at 12-12, so he would be able to get leveled. Sure, let's go for it. We're not gonna be able to just nuke down their Nexus like we could other matches. I'm actually gonna hold on to this just in case they try to hit our whole board with their like ice shards. We're trying to play carefully. Honestly, they might be helping us to get multiple Master Yi's on the board, so when we attack, he just gets like a couple strikes off every time. Alright, so there is their Lissandra. This would somewhat fill up our board, so drop one unit and also the uh, Storm Calling, Sigils of the Storm. But yeah, let's go ahead and stun that. The Clock Hand is actually secretly really good. Well, yeah, until we get buried. So the Clock Hand, well, it's really expensive for us. It is one that's pretty strong. Ah, oh, we wanted to play our Master Yi. Alright, they still might Ice Shard this. But we'll block here. Oh, this isn't our actual one. So three. Uh, the problem is this is going to like make like three cards. Alright, so we'll drop our Master Yi, and yeah, we can get rid of the sigils. And sure, let's just buff him up a little bit more. Now we get even more Master Yi's, wonderful. Oh my word, are you kidding? Oh my. Oh, that's such bad luck. That's... It shows the sapling over our other unit. Rough. Alright, so they have enough for a buried in ice, and we don't have our deny. So we are going to try to attack, and do as much damage as we can. Yes, I'm aware that's uh, Lily Pichu. It is a pretty adorable voice. They still have six mana, which means... They might still have mana for an entomb. Blade and body. I don't really want to spread out the buffs because they could have mana for just another ice shard. But we'll deny one of them because that'll keep one of our units alive and give us another spell. Yeah, let's go for it. Yep, there's the other deny. Uh, what does this hold? I think it's just kind of a random unit, but... Ah, uh, Disciple. 
Yeah, let's just make sure they stay alive. And body. Yeah, it's just their thrall, which... Not great letting them have a unit back, but... Not the end of the world if it gets released. It's not like it's a Lissandra or something like that. to get spell shield Blade and body Alpha strike Well at least one of our masters will be fine Yeah, that would be probably worthwhile. <laughs> Man, that sapling is actually screwing us over. That's sad. Uh, I mean, it's normally so good. Whatever, I think it's still probably worth it, but that's that's rough. Yeah, it's still a big blocker. Drop this here, it'll be a blocker. Cool. And let's see if uh, we probably won't have enough. He's going down to a one, but still surviving. Blade and body. Yeah, we're out of mana, so I won't try to play more, because we're just not going to be able to play anything. I really hope they add Renekton as a champion. attack with him he would die like it'd still be damage and there's nothing they can actually do to stop it it just sucks we're completely out of mana but it's better this than him getting ice sharded next turn and us not being able to do anything He would overdraw us, definitely. They could have another Buried in Ice. If they do, we have nothing to stop them. They could have more Frostbites and Entombs, though, fairly likely.
That is difficult. The thing is, I think they only have two buried in ice. If we attack now, then they might frostbite us. And then they'll still have their buried in ice to hit us next round when we have all of our units. If they do a buried in ice now, then next round we're going to have two of our units back. So I think I'm actually going to risk slow playing this because I think it would actually be the smarter play in the long run, even if we can't get our attack down this round. So we'll we'll try to see this. They'll probably counter it, but we'll see. Yeah, frostbite. Oh, or an entomb. All right, they now potentially have an entomb in hand. Yes. All right, that's fine because that was still burst and fast speed. So even if we attack, they would have the ability to do that. Although. We could actually... No! <laughs> the deny got blocked. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. The reason I didn't do Squirrel with its double strike, it would have overdrawn us. And so that's the issue. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we can play our squirrel here. It will overdraw us, but if they don't have any blockers to play, it could do a ton of damage. All right, we could actually be fine if they can't stop this. Oh, look at that, GG. Oh, man. All right, so able to come away with the win with Master Yi despite the fact he's one of the people that gets pretty heavily countered. Nice. Yeah, we had that deny, but unable to really do it, use it. Yeah, avenge the least sin loss. Now I just need to avenge the loss before that one. All right, so next up, we're going to do... Misfortune, and we're gonna try this build. I actually used this against uh, Aurelian Soul, and I was able to do like a 15 minute clear, which was pretty solid. It at least it dominated an Aurelian Soul, but Misfortune is gonna have issues. So for her. When allies attack, deal one to all battling enemies in the enemy nexus. That's really going to be a problem if we go up against anyone with the I'm Inevitable uh, ability. Because essentially we're just buffing up their whole board then. So if that happens, then we're kind of screwed. But this is great. You always have a blocker with your uh, Powder Monkey that you can use with your Spectral Scissors. That's already ephemeral, so you can put a lot of pressure on. When both of them die, they deal damage to the Nexus. Overwhelm is really good for you. I like it. This build is pretty fun. So let's see how we do with her into Lissandra. Trying to get everyone done so we can do the tier list. Oh, I do like Lucian. I mean, the double attack is close to being pointless like it'll, it'll help him before he levels up but he does already get double attack but still having it right away is not bad at least then we don't have to worry as much about leveling him we would still get to rally but yeah i like lucian losing the amazing
Yeah, so we'll go for the explosive entrance because we're normally summoning a good amount of people. Lissandra will, of course, counter this by giving her Nexus tough, so we'll really have to make sure we get rid of Lissandra. But could end up being a good amount of damage. Free rally with the ephemeral. Yeah, and with the spectral scissors, since we're summoning even more of them, uh, he'll be able to get rallied up pretty fast. Create a Sentinel's Horde in hand when you target allies and advance me one. So that is good. The one bad thing is it's going to take up board space. We'll buy one copy of this. Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Another double attack, Reckoner's Mark. Oh, we're getting so many good upgrades. So removal, extra damage, more rallies. I think we'll buy both of these, but we probably won't have mana for or money for that then. Yeah, 50, so we're 10 away. Give allies challenge of this round. I think buying one of these just for the Farsight is okay. Alright, so we got some pretty good upgrades, although I've had definitely other runs where it's like, man, look at all these great upgrades we got, and then we get destroyed. Alright, so... Don't really gonna want to go for It That Stairs or Hollow Blood. I feel like both of these kind of hard counter Misfortune. I think we have to go for the Inquisitor, which happens to be the top. So yeah, let's go up here. Oh, no. I hate this one. Rhyme Tush Shaman is terrible. Well, this is going to suck. But I feel like She Who Wanders or It That Stares will suck more. <laughs> so let's go up top. Yeah, pretty much everything we have just getting frostbitten immediately is terrible. Uh, these might get their strikes off first, so sure. And our ephemeral units will be pretty useless. I'm going to open with monkey business, though. Getting two rare items to our monkeys can be solid. Alright, still a decent amount of damage down round one. They would get frostbitten, but we could drop more monkeys. Uh, they would at least be blockers. Uh, Senna could... Well... The second copy probably won't go off. Still, kill two of their units, hopefully. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. So 
we're going to drop Lucian so we can start getting some kills. Or not kills, but he can start seeing people die. So we'll attack. We don't have to worry about our misfortune dying, which is very nice. We do have to worry about taking some damage next round, though. I think we need to kill one of these giant units. <laughs> wow, okay, they got Nautilus. Yep, that is quite a bit of damage. No, I'll bring them peace. Right, this is... This is one of the encounters where if you ever build your board, you get punished. You have to open attack. So... That is what we'll do. We'll save our Lucian. He can attack later. Right now, I'm a little worried about him dying. Uh, we drop this. Granted, they're probably gonna frostbite and kill him. To be honest, there's a very high likelihood of that happening. Yeah, let's go like that. They're far away from deep. That'll be good. <laughs> Alright, they're almost out of mana. We can get some more monkeys, potentially buff up our misfortune. Drag that one here, her over there, and yeah, this should just be... Should be game. <laughs> GG. Love ya. That's why I'm the captain. So we did take a lot of damage, but that is one of the really hard and annoying challenges that really counters unit-focused decks. Uh, another rally or some more cost reduction. I think we're actually going to go for the Petty Officer, because we could potentially play this for free after Misfortune, and I think that would be better than the rally. Especially because we can potentially just rally more with Lucian. We would be guaranteed to have the rally. Double attack with Overwhelm is pretty crazy, though. And Challenger should always get a good block. Yeah, I think I'll try this, but honestly, the Relentless Pursuit could be pretty good. Alright, making him even better. That should be good. Alright, Omenhawk with I am inevitable. Great. Alright, we'll get rid of both of those. At least we have Senna for some removal. So Lucian would die. 
but we can at least benefit from the kills here. Yeah, looks... Looks good. Fly away while you can. I, I've got these. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fresh tracks. All right, let's drop this to save him. Strike hard. Strike true. And I think let's drop Senna to kill their giant units and level up our Lucian immediately. You're late. You are early. I'll bring them peace. No. I love their little mechanic. Alright, they'll now attack. Uh, that's rough. We're just gonna take the hit. I don't want to get Lucian down to one health again. All right, we're gonna work on building out our board because we can do our petty officer for free. Hey there, little one. We could actually make another copy of the Petty Officer, potentially. That could be pretty good. Alright, so let's... Grab that one, because we want it to die. And that should be a lot of damage. We're going to get a rally going. Yeah, I think that should be really good. <laughs> oh, the love tap is going to scale this one outside of Lucian's kill range. Oh, well, still got the rally. And still ending the game. Oh, right. The ephemeral one doesn't care. GG. Fortune smiles. So yeah, we have a lot of burn damage, which is pretty good. So this go to a two cost, have a lot of stats. Having scout could be really good though. Yeah, I think we'll actually go here. If we get a scout to, like, Misfortune, that'd be amazing. Alright, Frostcoat Cub with At Last They Awaken. Yeah, we want more of our early game units. We want to be able to flood the board. All of those were a little too expensive. We could play our Lucian, but I think getting our monkey business down immediately. And especially now that these aren't going to get frostbitten, them getting those items will be very strong. Sure, let's drop this as a blocker. Alright, well, we're definitely not dropping our Lucian now. Yeah, we can use the Make It Rain. That's what I was considering. That's kind of our only option here, so maybe we could get something good for him. Yeah, not bad. That's worthwhile. 
I mean, they're all going to get buffed, but I didn't really want to get attacked with that. And this next attack is going to be a lot. Because we can play all of our petty officers for free. Alright, we're going to override one of these to get our Lucian on the board. Alright, let's see. We can get rid of that one. And we need to have room for our other Powder Monkey, so we'll hold off on Lucian, but he'll get... Well, he'll see everyone die, which will be helpful. Actually, let's... get rid of both of these and we're fine with our own units dying yeah that should be a ton of damage oh that's sad but our Lucian should level up Alright, honestly, we just need to play one unit, and we're gonna kill their Nexus. Because there's one. Alright, GG. Yeah, it's a pretty fun Misfortune build. And all you need is three epic... Three epic relics. Hey, thank you for following. I appreciate the support. Undying Dragon Dawn Speakers. Dawn Speakers would buff up our board because we have someone die every round. Wouldn't really help our aggressive playstyle, though. Uh, dragon. Would actually be fairly strong. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to risk one reroll here, just see if we can get something really, really good. <laughs> we can have both copies of Senna. Uh, we'll go for the Haunted Relic. Decent for flooding our board, decent for blockers, and every one of these is dealing one damage to the enemy Nexus because of our explosive entrance. Alright, I don't actually really care about the Remitter, necessarily. But it may be putting everyone to, like, one health or something like that. We'll go for it, but it's not like we're necessarily trying for something in particular. Uh, our board is normally too full for a landmark. I guess we'll just grab the hired gun. Deathless is good, but this is just too expensive, generally. Allies have 3-3, three, three, Overwhelming can't block. That's fun. Level up a champion, all players discard their hand. Three golden narwhals. So if we had the attack token first, we could attack with R3 and they would all be able to potentially kill the enemy. Unstoppable Force is fun, but I feel like we would just die. Yeah, let's go for the Ascension's Toll. We're generating units every round, and whenever we attack, we draw one. So, they should be able to help us more, or hurt the enemy more that's going to hurt us. I think this will probably be the best. And we're leveling up Lucian pretty regularly. Hallowed should be pretty good, because we have a lot of units die. Alright, Inquisitor. Yeah, being able to make 
Like, Lissandra discard, especially, is really good. I'll get rid of the Radiant Strike. I guess we'll hold on to all of these. Well, yeah, we have built-in draw from our second star power. There. It is just draw a unit, but should be better. I think we will just attack for now. Alrighty then. Wanted to try to give a unit vulnerable, but guess we'll just ramp up a little bit. I'm currently having a lot of fun playing uh, TKC Condenser and I don't not remember what TKC is off bat. Troll King's Crown, I guess. Yeah, Troll King's Crown. Okay. Interesting build. Uh, we'll hold off on playing the Misfortune, I think. Yeah, let's actually kill that unit. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. There's plenty of killing men. So, let's drop this, give our misfortune scout. Oh look, they both got scout. That's convenient. Well, that's a little sad. So the second one will get destroyed, but probably still worth having another double attack unit. Alright, that is quite a lot of damage. Alright, we'll just play one unit uh, next round, and that'll be game. Don't GG. Get in my way. We've been able to get a pretty good build stitched together. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. Yeah, we probably could have given Hallow to one of the double attack units, that's true. Uh, let's go for the Haunted Relic. And yeah, Iceborne Gauntlet should be decent. Let's see. This one has I Am Inevitable. This one has I Am Inevitable. <laughs> Great. Uh, I think we'll go up top, because Scar Mother pretty hard counters our Misfortune. So even though this is going to be bad, it's potentially going to be easier than this here. Let's see, wait, Trundle has I Am Inevitable. Okay, so... <laughs> All of, like... No matter which boss fight we fight, these two both have it, so not like we could avoid it by going down here. All right, let's go up for the hard route, see if we can get some better powers. So Alpha, Wild Claw, Foe Rallies, that's going to be tough. Yeah, I'm very aware that Lys Lysandra kind of hard counters Misfortune, but gotta test everyone.
Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we've gotten a decent amount of I'm Inevitable. Could be worse. So far, we've been able to overcome it without too much issue. Uh, I guess we actually won't attack because if we attack, they'll just hit us right back. So we'll just, yeah, pass. Uh, I'm not sure if Misfortune is the hardest or not. She's definitely up there. But I haven't actually thought through that one quite enough to be like, oh yeah, definitely she is the worst. I think let's kind of flood our board. Alright, we used an attack token just for that. We'll drop our Lucian and get him leveled. Granted, the problem with him leveling is he's going to discard our hand. <laughs> So sorry, misfortune. I'll bring them peace. Jinx is definitely easier. Samira overall is probably easier, but still was not a fun time. We'll try to attack like this. They only have one card left, though. Hopefully it's not a frostbite. Alright, so they're going to be able to kill our Lucian because they have a uh, challenger. But we did just get a ton of damage down on them. All right, let's block here. Speak his name. Go ahead and block there. Just try to reduce down the damage we're taking as much as possible. We should just be able to attack and end with all of our hallowed. GG. <laughs> no, the Shreema spell. <laughs> Alright, let's buff up the Book Butcher. Yeah, I normally haven't restarted if I see Lissandra has anything bad. I just... Go for it and do the best I can. But even if she has something tough, I just go for it. Alright, Howling Abyss with I Am Inevitable. This will be difficult. Ah, uh, this is okay. Sure, let's just 
Fill out our board. Because we're summoning a whole bunch of units and another champion. All right, Jack's not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't just a lamp. We share the water's fortunes. You are not welcome. I like that howler. Would really buffing that up is quite helpful for us, especially with our double attack. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. All right, Jace with Challenger. I think once again, let's just get a bunch of blockers and mostly buffing up our hallowed get another champion on the board we don't want to play our misfortune and have them kill it all right that's fine yeah i went the hard route Got to enjoy a challenge. Yeah, Scar Mother would have been a pain if we went that way. All right, hopefully Misfortune can survive. But powder wow. I can definitely say I did not see that one coming. Yep. It was Scar Mother with I Am Inevitable, so <laughs> yeah, figured this would probably be the lesser of two ev evils. Yeah, that Nasus, that's pretty hilarious that they got that of all things. Alright, what damage are we looking at? 10. Alright, so we can kill their Nasus straight up. Alright, that's decent. Yeah, I think let's just attack like this. Disrupt our peace. Well, that could have been a really big attack, because if we were able to play Misfortune, we could have dropped double Petty Officer. Which would have been pretty nice. <laughs> You'll go no farther. Huh. All right, we'll try to get our misfortune on the board. Hopefully, she doesn't die this time. Let's get started. Oh, I forgot that was. Oh man. Yep, now they're going to drain up. <laughs> Push back the darkness. That's what I'm here for. Uh, this would obliterate one of our our next unit. Just put that there. And that there. Interesting use of tech. Huh. GG. No. One step closer to a world without villains. Gotta appreciate that hallowed with everyone having Overwhelm. Uh, sure, this is really helping us buff up or fill out our board. Eat 
Easy Prey would be two more units dying. Could hit our Lucian, but I feel like we need something a little bit better than just that. Afterlife, both of these going to fill up our board. Yeah, this is something to, yeah, re-roll. Trifarian is interesting. Misfortune would be able to trigger it. And we could potentially get our monkeys triggering it as well. Yeah, the monkeys will get the strikes off, probably. Yeah, probably the best that we're going to be able to get. Not a huge fan of any of this. Let's go over to items. Man, not really. <laughs> Don't want to fill up our board space. Our board space is very important for Misfortune. Probably just going to end up re-rolling here. Might get the Hextech Fabricator. Uh, the Lissandra Mutator is all things grow cold. Yeah, I think we'll grab that, but re-roll. Mana Deposit, okay, that's pretty good. And doubling dice. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Granted, Misfortune's... Well, not Misfortune. Lissandra's potentially going to somewhat counter that, but only if we get really lucky. That could be really good. This could potentially summon Lucian, but yeah, I think doubling dice is going to be better. Alright, some decent upgrades... But once again, I am inevitable for Trundle. Time to troll. Yeah, I won't be able to fully heal, but I have the revive and I'd rather get the extra upgrades. Yeah, the fact that Revive is a full heal now is very good. Not and ready. Wonderful. We just have massive monkeys. And they should start getting strikes off. Oh my word. Our board is going to be flooded with monkeys next round. Are we just going to be able to attack with an entire board of monkeys and end the game? <laughs> so we couldn't wait and attack, but I think I just want to... Go like this. Alright. GG. Well, that was wonderful. A really nice feeling right before we get absolutely destroyed by Lissandra. Shadow Totem, Focus and Crystal. We don't play that many spells, but one more copy of Misfortune. That's going to get another strike off. Granted, that's going to hard counter... It's going to hard counter our... Uh, whatever they're called. The Captures, the Iceborne Gauntlet. Unless they fixed that, but I don't think they did. Hmm. They didn't fix that yet? Yeah. 
think I'm gonna try a reroll just in case. It's our last spot to get something really good. Sure. Farsight, making sure we draw her at the start of the game. All right, Lissandra, all things grow cold. At last, my time is at hand. All right, let's get rid of most of these. Would like to get our monkey card if we could. All right, a little sad. We could just buff all the monkeys and just waste the fact that we're uh, not going to play another unit to get scout. Uh, I think we'll probably just play the Haunted Relic, and we'll save this for when we can get more use out of it. But this should still buff up the monkeys potentially. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This ain't just a lamp. Secrets hidden by frost. All right, we'll keep our Jack back or Jacks back. Jack. I kind of hate that they did that. <laughs> uh. Gotta stack up that hallowed. Alright, so they'll hopefully get two strikes off each. We could wait for our Lucian, but we don't actually have Lucian in our hand. And I'd really like to kill them, especially Lissandra. We'll see if they both get two strikes off. I think they do. Ah, oh, one way. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's sad. I guess I didn't factor in the tough damage resistance. Uh, Love the attitude. Yeah, I just want to reduce down damage taking as much as we can. So close. <laughs> All right. Well, we could just play another misfortune. You will do as I command. I will remind the world of true power. They're going to give us the increased cost, but we do want to play these double attack units. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the other double attack would not go off because it's going to be ephemeral. But it is still more than the other units. Yeah, we'll go like this. <laughs> Alright, so low health, but we've done a ton of damage to them. Can we survive? Probably not, but we will do our best. All right, that's a lot of damage. Fearsome. This we get a strike off, but strikes the weakest enemy. Oh, 
run and stand at his command. Well, that's that's good. That's that is a good thing happening right now. I'm gonna risk field promotion just so we can try to keep our misfortune alive. She's the strongest, right? Yes. Maybe we'll get lucky. Alright, perfect. I mean, still might die here, but. Blunder, grant me 1-1, one, one, hired gun. I think we'll actually drop this here, because he's going to get bigger, and also with that spell shield. Did he hit 5? He did. Didn't exactly matter that much. They're probably just going to open up. Uh, they're going to open up with an Ice Shard and kill us from the Ice Shard. Because, yeah, we have no sustain. Alright, it's so, like we can do a scout attack, but that's not really going to do much. Alright, will they just Ice Shard us? Probably. <laughs> yep, there's the Ice Shard. Rip! It was... it was close. Alright, we still have the full revive. So there's still a chance. At last, my time is at hand. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to both of these. Uh, we're gonna actually drop the Butcher just so we can block that. Because we wouldn't necessarily be able to do that with the Haunted Spirits. Also, we're gonna have a very hard time keeping Lucian alive. We'll try to play him, but one Ice Shard and he's toast. Alright, we'll drop our Misfortune, especially since we can play her for free. And there is the Ice Shard. We'll try once again to save our misfortune, at least.
Man, really not getting the best draw. That is unfortunate. More than mortals, I am Iceborne. When attacking, can she be obliterated? I don't think so. Yeah, Wave Rider in this deck is so bad. All right, we just need a whole bunch of blockers. Granted, most of them aren't going to do much into Overwhelm, but still. Oh, look, Nora. Strategically planned discard. <laughs> uh... And we can't actually block their fearsomes. And these are going to do more damage. Hey, look, we're surviving. <laughs> uh, so we can get taken up by Ice Shard. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do in this situation. Nor is the wind condition. She's... Yeah, dying. Still, overall, it was a good run. We have the tools to be able to win. But last time we needed like one more health and this time we just need to draw the right cards. Yep, there's the ice shard. GG. Still better than I thought Misfortune was going to do, to be honest. Overall, pretty fun. Uh, definitely try out this build if you can. I know not a lot of people are going to have this many epic relics or want to spend this many slots on Misfortune, but it is pretty fun. I also used it against Galio, or not Galio, Aurelian Soul, and it destroyed. You just put on so much aggression early. It's pretty great. Uh, see you, Marks. This was the last run for the stream, yes. I normally stream roughly two hours, and it's been a bit over that. So we're able to get Master Yi as well as Misfortune done. We're almost done going through every single champion. And we only have a couple people left. We need to do Vi, Yumi, Vayne, Thresh. And I think Neela. I think that is it. So yep, pretty soon we'll finish up this week. Should be a fun time. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out. I'll be here back tomorrow, same time, 9 a.m. Yep, seems like we're pretty much at the same power cuties as far as finishing everyone. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out. There'll still be a video up on the channel as always tonight. And I hope you all have a great day.